This is a Samsung TV. The Mari number is UN75UN7100F. Don't go to work. Should get on it. We have no no red light. Stand by. Yeah. So the TV is completely dead. We're gonna unplug so the main board. So so we're gonna uh, unplug the main board. And we're gonna see if the backlight stay on and see if the backlight will stay on so yeah if the backlight stay on is mean the backlight is good the main board is good is giving us all the voltages and the problem is here in the main board or in the screen but if we don't have no backlight on it's mean the problem could be the backlight or the the power port all right let's unplug the tv and we are going to unplug this one. We might want to use the other one. No, we just leave this. We leave the main board unplugged. Uh -huh. And we plug the TV back to the power. We have no backlight. Mm -hmm. So that's me. And the problem is not in the main board. Is not likely in the screen. The problem is here between yeah. the power board and the backlight. All right, so let's, uh, okay, let's check the fuse. I think it's on the dial mode. Yep. Okay. And check the fuse to see if the fuse is still good. So the neck did? That doesn't matter. Okay. There is no sound. The, the, the fuse is tested open. That's bad. So why the fuse it is open? Cause shall be something going on here. All right, the fuse is open. Here, can you <coughs> look see if any component is burned or any market or anything? Look what? closely at the component. All of them, all these components. If you see any Wait, cracks, we, we did like these. no, not these ones. Look at these ones, the resistor, this capacitor. Oh. This one to see if there is any crack, any burn it. So yeah, do you guys spot anything? I I don't see it. Any burn it mark like blackness? Let's look one by one here. How to look look? Like these ones, we look this side and we, we look we, that we, side. We can move it. Yeah, you can move it, but just don't touch it, it's better. Just look here and look there. Look all of them. The... Which one? That one. That one is look burned. Yeah. yeah. That one is look burned. All right. This capacitor here, it's like burned. Mm -hmm. And you can see some brownish in the side of that uh, MOSFET. When this one is bad, could be any of these ones are bad. So the power it came from here to the rectify bridge and from the rectify bridge to the capacitor to the capacitor to this MOSFET and diode. So when the TV it's in the off mode, we have 160 volt in the capacitor. When we turn on the TV that's uh, 160, it's go to the 400 by this uh, MOSFET is switching to the to the transformer then it will give the voltage to the to these MOSFETs switching to this transformer to these diodes the output diodes and from here it's go to the backlight switching uh, MOSFETs usually this capacitor is get weak and burn it <coughs> then it will burn the diode <coughs> or burn the, the two MOSFETs. I think we have a board a little bit similar to this one to just test. We can do a test with it, but we're still gonna need to fix this, uh, this board. Just 
Okay. So we have this board. Hmm. You see that? On the burn. Yeah. Oh. So we have this board. And let's. Or we just we we plug the the power and we're gonna see the backlight. Yep, the backlight is on. Yeah, you can see the backlight is on. So let's uh, now we can plug the main board and we're gonna see if we have the picture. See the backlight. Okay, let's see the picture. Okay, we have the picture, but we have some dark spots. So we have bright, dark, bright, dark. All right, could be the, yeah, this power board is not compatible with the, the backlight we have in this TV. But we are sure now the main board is good, the screen is good, we have a good picture, right? Yeah. So that's not going to be the problem. The problem is in the power board. That's what we're going to fix. Wait, can I pause it? Mm -hmm. So this is the board and we are ready to find out. It's this one. That's one burn. Yeah. It's when that's one burn, this means this one. We need to check that's one, that's one, and that's one. All this one's here. So, okay, first let's dis discharge. I don't think the capacitor has any charge because oh. it was open uh, circuit. Why is checking those? Because if they have any charge, they're going to zap us. You see the hint? It's a danger. There is no charge in the capacitors. So, we are good to work on them. And even you can check with the... There, that's good. But check with the metal first before you search the, the capacitor. All right, next, yeah. We are gonna take... That? Mm -hmm. Why we'll take is that this glue. There? Why is the glue there? Because these uh, MOSFETs, they, they shake, they vibrate. Oh, so... By the time, they, they may crack this... Uh, so they cover it? Yeah, they put the glue so they don't crack from the solder. Okay, I do it. Dang. Yeah, because they are switching, so there is a frequency, and that's frequency. So transfer the the electricity to the movement. So all right, let's check. So let's check for short. Diamo. And check from here to here to here to here and to here to here. Okay, so I check here, there, and there. Yeah, from from here, from the middle pen to here, from the middle pen to here, then from here to here. So we need to know. Wait, so here to here, here, there? Yes, then from oh. there to here. Okay. We have 1.1, 1 .1, so that's good. From there to there, we have zero. That's So bad. short. Yep, that's a short and that's not short. That's good. So one side of this MOSFET is the short, this one is bad. And let's test the other one. That's short. Oh, that's short. Are you sure you didn't? Maybe you were touching each other. Okay, try now. Yep, it's short. Oh. It's short. Oh, then that's this so this one? one all the way short so all three legs is short together this one just one side short so let's see this is a double diode so no short in that side no short in that side so the double diode could be is good wait but William, do i have to do this one and that one uh, you can try it 
that's one tested shirt all right let's see here but usually that pits six no shouldn't be it together. takes somewhere here this ones yeah okay so we yeah we need to take all three of them and test them out of the board so we do have to unscrew yeah, them yeah unscrew them You remember what they are? Oh, like those? That three. This one, this one, and this one. So let's check. That's glue. Put it, scratch a little bit, just a little bit like that, and okay, now it's good. You can feel it is moving. Yeah, since That's, it's like moving a little bit. It's mean it's melted. So the same thing. Yep, I think he's getting it. It's just the glue. Yeah, okay, you can put some solder. Okay, scratch. Yep, scratch now. Put some solder. Yep, it's good. I see it's moving. One more. One more. I'm gonna do the t You the did big. the big one. Since it's the hardest. Okay. You can scratch a little bit. Put some little solder. By the solder iron, then scratch that solder. No, yeah, try to stay. Yeah, try to don't slide the solder iron. Cause oh yeah. Because if it's slide it, it may move, knock out this component. That's why I'm gonna stuck. Melting. Yep, melted. Okay, put the solder now. Okay, scratch. Yep, good. That's good. You got it. And remember, we need to remove that uh, burned capacitor as well. Oh, I yeah. think it's this one here. This one? Yeah. Oh, these two? That's true. That's the burned capacitor. Okay, yep. That's um Yep. Oh yeah, I can see it now. Ooh. Yeah, when it's melt you can see it. But the glue I know the glue is bothering. Oh, okay. Okay. Now we need to take the the other two for the capacitor. Are short these two? No, this oh, oh. This ones. Does it hurt? No, not really. Okay, just pour it. Watch and wait. Wait, 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 wait. Scratch a little bit. 
this deep scratching. Setting it to melt. Setting it to melt. So they think. Yeah, now it's good. They think they see it just melt. Can I play? Yeah, put some. Yeah. Yeah, now it's melt. Mm. Okay, try put put it over there. There. So which one this one? Yep. You can tell which one looks yucky. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It should melt first. Oh yeah. Yeah, it should melt and wait. Yeah, even it's melt, wait for it to melt all the way through. Because sometimes it's melt in the top, but it doesn't melt in the other side. Okay. So wait for it now, and you can get the keep the solder iron over there and get it. Try to keep the solder iron because oh, a little. Yeah, let me see. I think it's good, it's okay. Good. That's from there to there. That's mm. good. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I think I think this this one is good. So yeah. that one needs to be changed. But now this one's. Okay, that one is. Oh yeah, that's I just showed it. One. Both of them is short. It. So what about this one? This side is good. And this side is good. So two of them are good. So we So we have this and this are bad. So just these two. These two we can use them, but before we we be sure, we are gonna use the transistor tester. To to check if it's good. Yeah, here. Mm -hmm. Do the other yeah make all three legs. We oh we do. All right, press the power button. See if it's gonna give us a a MOSFET symbol. Yeah. Okay, there. it's hard to push. No. Yeah, it gives us a MOSFET symbol. So what? the device is reading this component as a MOSFET, and that's what it is. So it shows as a MOSFET. So it's good? It's good. So let's see the, the double <coughs> diode. The so the double diode is going to show as a two diodes. So so does it matter which color? No, it doesn't matter. Okay. No, that's there is a glue over there. Oh. Put, yep, put it right on the edge. That's good. Okay, let's place the bottom. Yeah, it gives us a diode, two diode symbols. 
so you can see here two diodes so this is a double diode is good so that's good we have two components are good one is bad and this capacitor is bad mm -hmm. so this one is 60 of 190 Q and they think we can use these two MOSFETs beside this one here this is a 60 R 250 P so this is a 25 amp this is a 19 amp so this MOSFET is more stronger than this one can you clean the glue and take this MOSFET plus take this uh, let me see what's the size of the <coughs> capacitor we will that um do, do, do we need to test these two? Uh, this, this two is, it should be good. Like after we take them from the board, we can test them. Like test test those? No, we don't need that. Yeah, the, this one is good. Don't worry about it because it has no charge. We didn't plug it for a long time. Oh, I'm just wondering. We have R1. 151 and uh, 2 kilovolt. That's weird. Looking for 100. What it was? 151. R151 something. So let's check in that capacitor. That's because the diode has two capacitors. Dad, I'm gonna take this out. Okay. So 101. Yeah, that one it will work. Shirt. No, it's good. Oh, that fuse is should the fuse should test shirt, not this one. So we need to check the fuse. So that's the components. Components? Yeah, we need to test these two components here. Oh, I thought you were going to test them. You want to test them with oh. this? Okay. That's the replacement one. So we test it. And it's a MOSFET. And it's a MOSFET. 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 So it's good. Yep, that one is good too. Yep. So let's unstop them. Wait, so these three? Yep. We don't need these no. anymore. So that's one, that one, that one, and the little capacitor, then we take the fuse.
we need to solder a wire for the fuse we need to make a journey we put the wire just to test okay oh marcelia score one now is a three five over they lost marcelia Marcelia, so let's solder it there. <laughs> we don't want to burn now for our fuse just to test the board. So now if something wrong with this one, it's going to burn. Oh, you found that one is for safety? Yeah. So, okay. We put out the board and we just we watch that fuse if it's gonna stay or it's gonna burn. If there is a little okay, let's try. No, it's not burnt. So that's good. Yeah, but you have to keep it on. Yeah, that's good. It didn't. Yeah, it didn't burn. That's good. Yeah, I hear the relay clicks. Look like the 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 board is is working now. So let's see. Three hundred ninety. That's good. And definitely now we're going to have the output voltage in this pin. We're going to have thirteen volt. Thirteen volt there. The board it works. We fix it. Yeah, many times these uh, capacitors when it gets weak, is causing the MOSFET to burn. Sometimes the capacitor doesn't look cracked, doesn't look burn, but it gets weak and causing the MOSFET to to burn. If you put another MOSFET, it will work for a little bit, then it's gonna burn in sometimes just in a couple of minutes. So check this capacitor first before you change the MOSFETs. And that's the capacitor was causing all the problem. And we are lucky in this uh, in this repair, the switching I see this one here still good. Because many times when the MOSFETs is go bad, the switching I see that's controlling that MOSFETs is go bad as well. So we're gonna discharge the capacitor, but by using the solder iron. Did you hear it first? Yeah. Yeah, it was like, like a spark. Spark. Yep. Yeah, that's how safety discharge this capacitor. So using the solder iron or use a resistor like 10 ohm or less. That it's not on. And 10 watt. Or. So you can see we have 0 0.9. Let's see capacitors. Oh, well, that's 300 millivolt. That's very low. So it's safe to work on. Yeah, remove the the wire and remove the old... Uh... What is that? Okay, that's good. The fuse. You just remove the wire, just push it. Okay. The other side. Yep. Put the nugget. No, no, that's the fuse, doesn't have the negative and positive. <laughs> oh, stop! <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> oh, we need a fixer. So, let's install the board in the TV and see how it's going. Okay, I'm recording. Spark. Yep. Is it? The, is this one still holding some charge. Oh, it's okay. It's not that bad. Yeah.
Now I'm, right. um, I'm always holding those two, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's test it. I see the backlight. Okay, let's see how the picture it looks. <coughs> we have to turn it on. Oh, good. Here we are. It is all fixed. Everything. Yeah. The, ba the backlight looks good. The picture looks good. Looks perfect. Alright, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you again.